block in your township. Back in the lab again, back on your again. I then whip through Madison, out East Afghanistan. We this skirt, do dirt like Zadarans. I've been so adamant, so cold like Avalanche. I go by Babylon, be in my bag again. More moolah, more problems go crazy. Ferragamo, Barricado, tunnel under just like a El Chapo. Huh, back up on my me no sin, no stems, you get a huh. Whole squad on some This that church is on the mud Pull pit, you with a cool kid Do stools, click, spawn room for the Could become a tomb or a nuisance I share my dogs come with a tool kit They act a fool with All my dreaming be elusive I need the whole thing Cold-blooded, I've been hunted by a slew of That's how I do it With the rag out the Sky. It's Brian Banifatemi and Tim Sports. I'm Blake Suniga, and we're thrilled to have you with us. What a battle it'll be in the backcourt. Great guards going at it. What should we expect? Lots of fun. I just love this showdown. As they say, iron sharpens iron. So tonight should actually really help both backcourts. Absolutely, Brian. It's great prep for the playoffs. I mean, in that postseason, you'll be facing elite opposition every night. So uh, this can really help you to get ready for that end of the season tournament we got. Whoa, the long bomb. Allie Quigley has no fear to let it fly. It's in her DNA to shoot. Oh, Gumake misses. Yeah, remember that. I mean, that's not an opportunity. She fails to convert very often. The basket drops and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up for her. The determination of Parker on display refuses to be denied, continues to play with incredible fire. One of those generational players every GM is looking for, Candace Parker has been a dominant presence in the WNBA from the moment she stepped on the floor, day one on both ends of the floor. She always knows where her teammates are going to be, and she'll have that ball there waiting for them. Dolson, shot's good. Quality court vision to find the open teammate. Parker's guard-like skills are just on full display. Some stars spend most of their energy on offense, but not Candace. A regular on all defensive teams, and one of the best rebounders we've ever seen. Plus, she works as a studio analyst. Talk about a well-rounded basketball talent. Now here's Quigley. Parker, no good. Their first miss of the game, a strong start. To the paint. Here's Obumake. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First overall pick back on the 2014 draft. Kanea hey, Gumake has become a Shooting very good spots. player in this league, but guess what? He's also become a tremendous analyst as well. And Ogumake has said she never expected to have a career in broadcasting. Well, she's got one now, and to be honest, she's been great. She's branching out beyond basketball. In fact, sports altogether. The Stanford grad is one smart cookie, paving a new path and paying it forward. Basket is good. Yeah. The assist by Lauren Cox. A really difficult shot. Ogumake with great concentration, just totally locked in offensively. Pass to Quigley. Right side Parker. And here's the Shields. She's covered by Ogumake. Nice shot by the Shields. So far, so good for them at the offensive end in the early going. Their field goal percentage is terrific. Exactly the start they were hoping for. Shanae, that one Ogumake. drops for her. What an incredible yes. find from Erica Wheeler. Her passing skills bring out the best in her teammates. Now 
now here's the shields not a lot of room pass to Vandersloot to the middle Parker he gets it in there they're passing the ball very crisply right now their last three buckets have come by way of an assist Cox Parker defending I like the D they weren't about to swing the door open and let her cruise into the layup good job Dolson, shot's good. Yeah, and you know, assists aren't particularly Quigley's bread and butter, but she shows great poise in finding the wide-open shooter. And she finishes nicely on the layup. Very clever passing. She put that ball on a silver platter for her. Now here's Quigley. She's covered by Tolliver. Here's the Shields. And she drops in the layup off the basket. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four Shanae straight Okuni. field goals they've allowed from within Assistant touching distance of the rim. Erica. Nice start as she's knocked down three of her first four shots and has hit the ground running in this contest. They've been getting it inside at every opportunity, and they're getting excellent results. You know, that's a winning formula, pounding the ball down low, Shanae being aggressive. You know, they're being very assertive offensively. Great teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. They're playing as one. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. Great team basketball. Now here's the Shields. She's got six. Pass to Vandersloot. Here's Dolson. Shot clock at six. Goes right through for bucket number three. She's a perfect three for three. Well, if there's somebody open on the court with the same jersey on, Vandersloot will find her incredible court vision. And Cox gets it to go. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Every pass is with purpose, and their last 10 points have come off of assists. Great team basketball on display right now. Now here's Quigley. Here's the Shields. Dolson. And Los so she earns a trip five. to the line. Uh, officials saw the contact first and she'll shoot two. Teams first. It's on Warren five. Cox. The mobility of Dolson coupled with her size. It's very difficult once she gets inside to stop. Sometimes you have to foul. And still plenty of basketball to be played. But Brian, is it too early to tell who the championship level teams are? Maybe, but I think the title teams, they're consistent throughout the season. So getting out of the gates fast really helps. Well, I'm going to disagree a little here. Yeah, that might be shocking for you, Brian. But uh, there could be a blockbuster trade out there, a major injury. So we just don't know what teams will, will look like come playoff time. I, I just think it's too early to tell. Now here's Tolliver. Christy Still getting Tolliver. warmed up offensively. Assistant. No buckets Erica yet in the Lee. game for her. Well, with speed and agility, Christy Tolliver is so potent on the drive. The defense can't do much to stop her. Quigley with it. She's covered by Tolliver. Here's Copper over Ogumake. And the basket by Copper. I like how Copper lets the game come to her. When the mid-range game opens up, she takes it. So she gets the whistle, contact on the way up, two shots, and uh, this is her second trip to the line of the game. The first one falls, the Sparks making a switch here, that one falls, so she hits both of them. The Agumakes have to be the best sister duo in WNBA history. Shanae with her sister Neka, both All-Stars and fantastic ambassadors for basketball. Here's Evans. Stevens, covered by Zowie B. Pass to Evans. Pulls up. And it's wide right, hits off the rim. The Sparks trailing. Inside. Shots good by Ogumike. The points just keep coming for her this quarter, and at the right time, too, as they continue to try and narrow this deficit. Here's Evans. Pass to Copper. Unloads from 13 feet. Rebound by the Sparks. She kind of short-armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Sykes, no good. 
Now Copper. To the inside. Here's Stevens. Oh! And a foul Sparks called foul. on the shot. Got Sinead, her on the way up Oakland that Mickey. time, so she'll shoot two. First personal foul. Team yeah, first. I love seeing bigs like foul. Stevens that shoot well from the free throw line. And to me, it's really just a testament to their quest for perfection. They want to have all parts of their game be efficient. Now here is Sykes. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Zowie B down low. Pass to Sykes. Now Cooper takes the three. The shot comes out. Now Evans. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on her today. That's foul number two for her. Well, she has got to watch herself at this point. I mean, that's two fouls already, and she can't afford to rack up another one. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Now here's Brown. Defense is right there. Softly drops Nancy in the floater. Nancy from Brown at 5'9". That's a shot you need in your bag in the WNBA with all those tall defenders. Down low, the Diva. And they pick up Maria, two. The Diva. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. And the basket by Copper. Fantastic touch from Copper there. You can see how locked in she is scoring inside. Inside. Sykes outside. The Diva. Foul call that time on the way up. What a play in attack mode and get inside. And the Shooting defense the gets spots. their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Chicago leading. And here's Evans. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Here's Copper. She's guarded by Sykes. And stolen by Sykes. Finished off the break. I think Tolliver was born to assist because it seems like finding open teammates is in her DNA. Here's Evans. Takes the 13-footer. The rebound by Zowie B. And they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. I mean, just take a look at the box score. They're at a Maria definite Adiva. disadvantage. Yeah, and time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game. But if you're the coaching staff, it's certainly something to emphasize. Pass to Copper. And the defenders didn't get squared up with their feet set. Yeah, those can be tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. And she's got her first free throws of the night right here. The 2016 first round pick, Kalina Copper was named to her first All-Star game in 2021. That shows you what great improvement looks like over the years. Now here's Zowie B. She's guarded by Stevens. And that one good. Assist such a great feel, Maria such great Padilla. touch around the bucket. She made that reverse look easy. Here's Evans. Check out Tolliver's determination on defense. She embraces the challenge of shutting down opponents. It's the end of the first with a tie game here, and already these offenses are clicking. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. A close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And when you consider how the Sky are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? A lot of Amanda trips sliding them through the first, very aggressive offensively. And they're making full use of their home court advantage, I'll tell you that much. Fans have really helped them. Now here is Stevens. Now Copper. Here's Brown. That's her second shot and her second basket. My math says that's two for two. It's easy to see Copper's phenomenal fundamentals. When she sees a wide open shooter, she makes sure they get the ball. And the shot goes in. You know, they've been extremely efficient 
efficient and effective getting the ball inside. Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Endor, covered by Zowie B. A beautiful reverse layup. Crafty pass for getting it down low for the easy deuce. It's Brittany Sykes on the wing. Out to the wing. To the inside. The Diva. Good work Maria there as Vadiva. it goes. Assist wow. Goes to I mean, Taya come on. Cooper. That's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, it's just nowhere to be found. They have to start committing more bodies down low. Now here's Brown. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. To the paint. And she lays it straight in. A 6'6 six, six forward with just straight up versatility. Stevens has been a noteworthy WNBA prospect for a while. Taya Cooper. And here's Evans. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on Chicago, the scoreboard. Timeout call. Now a timeout called by Chicago. Yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good time now. You might as well talk to each other. And kind of change that game plan as well. Both teams will make substitutions. Two minutes now played in this second quarter. Back to Dolson. No good that time. And the sparks the other way now. To the middle. And Cox right. gets it to go. We're seeing Assisted. some good ball movement Erica out of them. Wheeler. Definitely. Ten of their last 12 points have come off assists. Now, Wheeler's, she's got some serious skills, whether it's uh, creating off the dribble, a deadly pull-up. Uh, she's a great passer as well. Now here's Vandersloot. Plenty of space. And good as it snugs right down through the net. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Pass to Cox. It's stolen by Parker. To the inside. It's hauled in by the Sparks. And Wheeler gets it done defensively as well. Yeah, and that's because of her quick hands and her quick feet. Because of those things, she can stay in front of ball handlers. And if you get too loose with the rock, she'll pick it and go the other way. Now here's Quigley. 13 feet out. Parker's shot is off. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points, but the defense stood tall there. Pass to Cox. Rejected by Candace Parker. Incredible reach, great timing. I mean, what else do you want? Parker is just an impressive shot. Sparks. You have to be impressed by Allie Second Quigley's first accuracy. First She's got her long range shooting totally shooting dialed in Chicago. and is one of the league's Allie most Quigley. consistent three point snipers. Well, who could forget the two year streak where Quigley dominated the All Star three point contest? A back to back champion. You certainly don't see that often. It's a real testament to Quigley's talent as a long range shooter, arguably the best in the world. Back to Agumake. Six to shoot. Ooh, no luck on that one. Good work defensively by Candace Parker. Right side, Quigley. And that puts them in the lead. Well, Quigley can strike from anywhere. She's got a great shot that opens the entire floor for her. That one goes Maria in. Vadiva. Moving it around, eight of the last 10 points coming off assists. Nothing makes a coach happier than a display of pure Los selfless Angeles. teamwork. Absolutely. And the call against Erica Wheeler. Second to the foul. First foul of the game. Into the the Sparks making Angeles. a switch here. Shanae Ogumike. Pass to Vandersloot. And now here's Quigley. Ogumike with the rebound. Cox, right side. Ogumake. Back to Cox. Over Parker. Cox, no good. Chicago with the ball. Here's Vandersloot. Dolson. Shoots over Wheeler. Chicago again missing. 
One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, really it's sucks. tough to defend. Yes, sir. Showing some Eric serious Eric. strength. Sykes isn't afraid to go at defenders and draw contact. Now here's Vandersloot. Outside, Parker. On the wing, Diamond to Shields. Charity stripe shot. Rebound by the Sparks. Sykes left side. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. They own the paint right now. Ten straight coming from the inside. They are constantly finding lanes to the hoop. Getting great Chicago, bucks in tight. Ball. Now a timeout called by Chicago. We've seen Ogumake really having a great game. She's been attacking the rim with force. They need to deny her the ball in the paint. Keep her away from the bucket. Now here's Vandersloot, guarded by Wheeler. And Parker gets the whistle that time. That's her first foul. Well, Vandersloot is just fearless. Getting past the inside contact and getting past the assist. Down low. Pass to Ogumake. Sykes. Here's Cox. Parker defending. Cox, no good. Her shooting numbers slipping this quarter. Here's Vandersloot. And she was fouled on the way up. She throws for her. It's on Shanae Ogumake. More of a distributor than a scorer, but Vandersloot can still attack defenses in her own right. Love the leadership Vandersloot provides at the point guard position. One of the best four generals we've ever Neca, seen. Ogumake. And obviously, I mean, her decision making is just on Neca. another level. They've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. You got to imagine that their coach is very happy with that. Four straight passes leading to scores. That's just great team play. Now here's Vandersloot. She's got eight. Excellent D there from Erica Wheeler. And even fellow Gonzaga point guard John Stockton said there's something that separates Courtney from others. Neca, it's just the way she reads the floor. Her teammates know that if they get open, she's going to find them. And that keeps everyone engaged. Vandersloot with it, guarded by Wheeler. A nice shot by Vandersloot. Vandersloot with the Marcus. The Sparks with the lead. Ogumake covered by DeShields. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. The strength that pops, a problem for defenders who do so well. A difficult player to guard. And the Sparks making a change here. No good on the second free throw. And so it's Chicago with it. Vandersloot with it. Ten points for her. Eleven feet out. The Shields can't hit. Not pretty. Got to just uh, shake off a miss like that. Here's Cooper. Buries it from three-point range. Three points. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Great ball movement indeed. That's an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Now here's the Shields. Six points for her. Her first shot coming late. Endor gets the bucket. That's a clean look they gave her there, fellas. And I mean, she, she drains those. So I wouldn't give her too many of those looks if I was the defense. Here's Ogumake. Back to Wheeler. Pass to Cooper. Got a piece of it. Now here is Agumake. He's covered closely. Another turnover there. But the guys overall, they've taken good for Los Angeles. care of the basketball. Great defense, anticipated the play, and got the there first. Two minutes. And coaches love players that are just not afraid to put their bodies on the line and take a shot for the team. Here's Endor. Good on the layup. And that's a great play in the glass. And for her, it's what really we expect from her. All her second chance points do not come by accident. Ogumake. Yes, once again for her on an excellent seven for eight shooting night so far. 
Another hoop from Agumake. And you want to kind of take it to the next level. Offensive rating. It's a new age stat, basically how much your team scores while you're on the court. Agumake has one of the best ratings in WNBA history. Now here is Agumake. 17 points in the game. Outside to Shields. And so she draws the foul on the shot. And trips to the line to shoot. Second personal foul. Averaging over 14 points per game in her first season in the WNBA. The Shields entered the league with a bang. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're down. Shots good she by Agumake. And <laughs> she's definitely making her presence felt here in the first half. She has been just incredibly effective so far. Now here's the Shields. Eight points for her. Pass to Evans. Inside. Six on the shot clock. And good that time. That's a great example of Stevens' comfortability and focus around the basket. So effective down there. Here's Brown. Fires for three. Agumake uh, with the rebound. It's two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. The layup miss. The sky trail. They'll probably let the clock wind down here. Exactly. No need to give the ball back before the end of the quarter. The ball is in your court. Left side, Stevens. Over Ogumake. And a pretty tightly contested game here as... battling hard through the first two quarters. You know, Shanae Ogumake has been exceptional here, guys. She's been a revelation tonight, scoring almost at will in the first half. Hard to imagine she'll be able to keep it up for the next two quarters, but you never know. It could be a special That's night a three for her. Second violation. And it's going to be a three-second call. Oh, no. See, those are the kind of errors that can make or break you in a game like this, and it'll drive your coach crazy. Outside, Quigley. Parker up top. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First personal foul. Steve Tolliver picks one up. First well, when you watch Candace Parker play, she's so talented, you forget she's 6'4". It allows her to be a menace down low. It's always great to see Candace Parker in action. I mean, one of the most versatile players in the history of the sport. Wheeler, good. I'm not sure, really, in that set, who was supposed to be on her there. And apparently, neither did the defenders. Now, here's Vandersloot. Here's Dolson to the paint. Parker laid in Parker with a nice with touch on the glass. Well, you talk about Parker's versatility. She impacts the game in just about every way possible. Rebounding, scoring, defense, you name it. And one of the most intelligent players you'll find. There is nothing on the court that she can't do. Now here's Vandersloot, guarded by Wheeler. Pass to Parker, to Shields. Vandersloot outside. To the middle, it's stolen by Ogumake. And stolen by Diamond to Shields. Vandersloot, guarded by Wheeler. It's not going to go for her. And it's the Sparks the other way. To the inside. Here's Ogumake. And it's blocked by Stephanie Dolson. Here's Parker. Yes, and it's Allie quickly picking up the assist. The defense has to do a better job of keeping Parker out of the paint. She's too skilled inside. Stolen by DeShields. For the lead. Oh, uh, Gumake with the rebound. Not sure what the D was doing there. She's not the player to give open looks to, but they got away with it that time. Yep, that Nick one goes. Gumake. You got to do more than that to stop a Gumake, one of the best built players in the WNBA. And 
first loot outside. Good D by Lauren Cox. Will Sparks leading. Right side, Tolliver. Pass to Cox. And stolen by Courtney Vandersloot. Quigley with it. Guarded now by Tolliver. Great pass to set up the lane. That's what I call pretty passive. Timely recognition as to where the open teammate was. The Sparks call timeout. You have to love Courtney Vandersloot's incredible playmaking ability. She has tremendous floor vision and works harder than just about anyone to set up her teammates for success. So both teams, teams making some changes here. Now the Sparks with it. Pass to Cox. Count that one. And when you think about Vandersloot's abilities as a floor general, she's got the stats to back up the claim that she's an all-time great. No question. I mean, she holds the record for most assists in the season, and she's constantly breaking that record, consistently uh, leading the league in that stat as well. Uh, the proof is there. Almost no one moves the ball as well as Courtney Vandersloot. Clock at four. And here's Allie Quigley outside. The Sparks grab the miss. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Those are teammates who clearly know each other's moves very well. Now here's Vandersloot. She's got 10. Down low. Here's Golson. And another shot. Here's Parker. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. It's not just the 6-4 frame that allows Parker to get those in. It's her motor. It's her desire. It's her drive to win. Sky On the night, she's 2-for-2 two two at the strike. Seat. First personal foul, team's first. And first she knocks down foul. the first one. Shooting for the Sparks. And that's good as she hits both shots. Now here's Vandersloot. Outside, Quigley. Back to Vandersloot. Five on the clock. Christy Tolliver with the block. Here's Wheeler. And good. Coming off the assist by Warren Cox. The passing skills of Cox are special. For a player at her position, with her size, she moves the ball so well. Here's Copper. She's got eight. Pass to Vandersloot. Goes up at the stripe. Here's Dolson. Down through the hoop it goes. And that's her hit make on nine shots from the floor. Another reason you want Dolson on your team. She can turn a missed basket into points. Tremendous Maria, effort on the boards. Defensively, they've got to start bodying them up. You know, get a little bit more physical and help your chances at winning this game. Yeah, they're getting out last in the paint. And the worst part, it's at both ends of the floor. Time called here. The Sky decide to talk it over. And in 2019, Christy Tolliver was a key piece for the Washington Mystics as she earned her second WNBA championship. Into the the Sparks the making a switch here. Now here's Vandersloot. Ten points for her. Here's Copper. She's guarded by Sykes. Copper no good. So it's the Sparks now. A one-on-one -on -one situation. Poked away. And that'll be Los Angeles ball as it goes out of bounds. Sparks able to keep the ball here. And Tolliver is the true definition of a combo guard. She can make plays with the ball in her hands, but is just as effective at making plays off the ball. And even at this stage of her career in the league so long, you know, Christie's still capable of playing at an all-star level. With her work ethic, she's a great veteran presence in the locker room as well. Every team wants a Christie Tolliver. Tolliver, she's covered by Brown. Pass to Cooper. Now here's Tolliver. 
And here is Zowie B. Banked in off the Amanda glass. Zowie yeah, B. she's played an important role in her offense today. And really, without her, they might not have the lead right now. Anderson outside. Stevens. Chuck up two right there. And that's using the bounce pass to perfection. Here's Cooper. Five points in the game. Good. And Christy Toller gets the assist. You just love a player like her. She's been the floor general at the offensive end. She has been on it today, just doing a great job of keeping that ball moving. Here's Copper. Ten points for her. And yep, it's good. Just the way they want it, within touching distance of the rim. at 5'9". No fear from Sykes. She plays way bigger than her height. Tremendous heart. Now Vandersloot. Pass to Copper. The 10-footer. And it's Chicago with another. Since halftime, this has really become an intense ball game. The effort we're seeing from both sides has been phenomenal. I'm locked in. Zowie B shot is off. Chicago trailing here. Here's Vandersloot. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, Official saw the contact. And she'll shoot two. Second two five. Yeah, shooting at about an 80% clip over her career at the line. Vandersloot, one of the last players you want to foul. Everyone on their team is locked in from the charity stripe this half. Not one miss. And trying to cut into this lead. They need every edge they can get. And here is Vandersloot. All points for her. Two minutes remaining in the third. Over Cheers. to the wing. Here's Copper. She's guarded by Sykes. Basket by Copper. I just love to see Copper turn on the Jets. When she's this hot, she wants the ball every time, and she deserves it every time. Sykes, no good. And so it's Chicago with it. Inside, Vandersloot. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Just not the quarter she would like to have when you talk about yeah, shooting the ball, game. but hopefully yes, she can turn it around. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. Now here's Vandersloot. Pass to Brown. And she uses the glass on the layup. Showing she is more than just a shooter. Lexi Brown takes it inside for two. They swipe it. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Endor. The shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. Next look. Nice pass. Nice catch. Nice shot. Down low. And it's Courtney Vandersloot with the rebound. Chicago with the ball. For the lead. And she was fouled in the act of shooting. An opportunity for a three-point play. Three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The defense better start buckling down. They're getting exposed and punished down low. Tim, can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? They've been perfect. Brian, I almost can't believe this. As cool as can be. Great focus. Great efficiency. That's how they built this lead. The right way. I mean, I'll be honest. I can't imagine how hard it is to guard a Cuba King near the basket. She has a myriad of post moves. You can't stop them all. Both good at the line. Quigley with it. She has six. It's two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Clock at six. Pass to Stevens. Over Cox. 
Chicago again missing. Yeah, the fadeaway allowed her to get the ball over the defender, but unfortunately, uh, just employing the fadeaway. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game thus far. It's the sky leading by just one. And time for a short break. Stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Get in, Up top to Shields, guarded by Wheeler, counted. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. And here we go, the sky fast break. And here's Ali Quigley outside, hits the three-point bomb. That's just great all around. The passer gets the assist, quickly gets the points. Good teamwork. Oh, and there's the call on quickly. That is the first foul of the game. Foul. And I like the call. I thought the D was first still moving. Foul. Yeah, it looked like it. And she kind of slid underneath as she got to the spot, too. Count the basket. A section of her game she has really worked on. Neka sees the floor well, sets others up. Here's Copper. She's covered by Ogumake. The floater. The Shields can't hit. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it really hasn't affected the team that much. And this game has really heated up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Yeah, well, no one's ever going to argue with more offense and... That's exactly what we're getting. I'm not going to argue with you, Brian. Let's see more offense. And it's good for two. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, they've come from inside the paint. Pass to Agumake. Yes, for basket number nine. He's missed only two shots from the floor all night. That's how you shoot 60% in a season like she has in the past. The Gumake has done it because she is dominant near the basket. And you're right here. Here's Copper. She's covered by Ogumake. Here's Stevens. Up top to Shields. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Dolson. Copper. Goes back up. And she lays it up and in. I admire how Stevens relentlessly crashes the boards. It's it's pretty special for a young player. And the Sparks call time here. They've been committing a lot of turnovers. Taking care of the basketball has to be the number one topic in the headline here. They need to tighten things up. So both teams changing it up here. To the paint. And Cox gets it to go. We see Cox score it from all around the floor. But the closer she is into the hoop, the better Cox is. Outside to Shields. Over Ogumake. Neko Ogumake with the block. Outside Tolliver to tie it up. And the layup is good. And that makes it a tie ball game. A high octane offensive talent. Tolliver plays focused and passionate basketball. And Really, she's always improving her game. Pass to Vandersloot. Dolson. Back to Vandersloot. A baseline J. And Shanice with the block. And it's going to be a 24 second violation. They'll turn it over. Now here's Wheeler. She's guarded closely. And Cox gets it to go. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passer. Here's the Shields. That's good, and the Courtney Vanderloot gets the assist. You can't allow the Shields to get good positioning, you know, the ball down low, because once that happens, the D is toast. And that one's dropped. What a mismatch it's been in the post. I mean, where's the defensive adjustment? They're just getting eaten alive out there. Yeah, I agree. They got to come up with something. A double team, maybe a sub. This is getting ridiculous. 
Shoots it up. Nails the baby hook. The defense cannot figure out how to stop Parker. It's almost impossible for defenders to stay in front of her. Pass to Ogumake. Back to Ogumake. Outside Wheeler. Let's the three fly. The rebound by the sky. Diamond of Shields, the open look. And she wills that one in, sinking right through on the back iron. That mid-range jumper is a great thing to have in your back tricks, and they've really unleashed it today. You know, some say it's a lost part, but they're getting excellent results with it tonight. Oliver, guarded by Quigley. Pass to Agumake. Five to shoot. She drains it in as the shot clock ticks down. Standing at 6'2", Ogumike isn't a tree inside, but she is as good of a leaper as you'll see. That really helps her finish. Time called here. The Sky decide to talk it over. And when you watch Ogumike play, what impresses you right away is how consistent she's been. She's been in the league over a decade. And it's pretty easy to see why. Slewed outside. Six to shoot. To the inside. Parker shoots over Wheeler. Off the left rim and out. And Ogumike is a former MVP for a reason. She understands her strengths and plays to them really well. And you know, is one of those players that does whatever is asked of her. When her team needs more out of her, more offense, she steps up. Her, her really a uh, selfless attitude, it's why she's so effective and such a strong leader. Back to Dolson. Here's Parker. And good work on the boards, and they pick up the second chance points. They've done a great job of getting offensive rebounds and then converting it here in the second half. And Stephanie Dolson with the block. That's some more rugged play from them inside. They have a decent edge in rebounds. And that hard work on the boards needs to continue. That could be what swings this game. And so it's Chicago with it. The lead is two. Outside Quigley. Over Tolliver. And the basket by Quigley. You know, she's a really crafty player. Quickly finds ways to finish inside. She has great touch. Now the Sparks with it. Pass to Ogumake. It's good. And that takes her to 77% shooting this game. 10 for 13. Some big shots for her here in the four. She's been locked in offensively. Parker with the ball. Outside to Shields. Now Vandersloot. Right side, Parker. Just five to shoot. No good from 11 feet. Left side, Tolliver. Ogumake, guarded by Dolson. And Cox gets it to go. Very much in the clutch. She is now five for five from the field here in the fourth quarter. They keep getting her the ball, and wisely so. And it's stolen by Cox. For three, Neko Ogumake. And that's collected by Diamond to Shields. Pass to Dolson. It's good. The assist that time from Diamond to Shields. Clutch by Dolson. She's been in every big game from college to overseas of the WNBA. Dolson with no fear of the big moment. Chicago leading. Now here's Vandersloot. Quigley with it. With the mark. Here's Parker. The shot is good off the backboard. Well, when I think of Candace Parker, the first thing I think of, winner. She loves these moments. Pass to Cox. Wheeler. And she banks in the layup. It's easy to see why Wheeler is out here in these kinds of moments. When her team needs a basket, 
She enjoys delivering it for them. Parker inside. She's covered by Cox. Back to Parker. Soft touch off the glass. Found the soft spot in the D right there. Sparks trailing. Ogumake inside, covered by the Shields. Ask Ogumake. The 10 footer, and the shot is good. Zero hesitation from Ogumake. She wants the ball, she asks for it when it matters most. Here's Parker. Up and in on the rail. Stays calm and collected in pressure-filled moments. Parker simply refuses to go down without a fight. And she gets the bucket. Never afraid of the big moment. Agumake is a great option during the most important part of any game. Parker inside. Cox is there. Good deed by Lauren Cox. To Agumake. Oh, it falls! She has tied up this game! Chicago timeout oh, call. What a shot! Now a timeout called by Chicago. Parker up top. She's covered by Agumake. It's Stephanie Dolson, high post. To Parker. Got it! So much improvement in terms of passing the ball for Dolson. She came into the league at about an assist per game, and she has tripled that rate. Yes! A huge shot to tie it up. You want Tolliver in these kinds of situations because she's poised under pressure and really can be a go to scorer in the clutch. Six second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. They do have a foul to give. Yeah, and you might see him use that at some point. I'm out called the Sparks. Yeah, what's your take, guys? They can go from the three to win or two to tie. What's your choice in this situation? Well, Tim, I don't think you set that decision in stone in this timeout. You see how things play out, but you're looking for the best shot no matter which it is. That's a good point. First good shot I'd take. Here's Tolliver. And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. Now a timeout called by Chicago. From Deep Alley Quigley. Oh, had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. Regulation has ended. Just joining us, the intensity has heated up in this one as we watch this one go to overtime. And it's the Sparks to start out. And always a good ride in these post-regulation battles. Eric this Bally. overtime now looking to be an exciting one. Chanel Heads up by Akumake to find her teammate. She draws so much attention, it can lead to easy buckets for others. Pass to DeShields. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. It's on Shanae Ogumake. And so she makes both from the line. So it's the Sparks now. To the middle. Here's Cox. And that one drops for us. Of all of her skills, the motor of Cox might just be her best. Second chance points earned. Down low. And that so one's good. Okay. Okay. She's having one Assistant of those days ball. where if Eric she takes Miller. it, she makes it. To the paint. Here's Dolson. And that Maybe comes off the assist by Dolson. Courtney Vanderson. A solid 6-5 player. Dolson has the mentality, more importantly, to, to be a, a great big in this Never league, not phased by contact. 
Huge basket from Agumake. Remember how clutch she was during the 2016 Sparks title run? She shot over 60% in the playoffs. Loves the big moment. They blow the whistle just as she gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. A veteran hooper. Parker's been in the game for over a decade. Uh, it's just been an incredible career. Inside. And Cox gets it to go. Huge bucket from Lauren Cox. Remember, she was a national champion in college. A clutch winning player. Here's Vandersloot. And the basket by Parker. That is some dime dropping. Exquisite assist. Erica Wheeler drives in. The Sparks get it back. Back to Agumake. Down to five on the shot clock. Tolliver. Vandersloot defending. Tolliver, no good. Chicago trailing here. Count it and the foul. That one on Wheeler. What a move by Candace Parker. She means shaking off the defender. It looked effortless. A lot of players say they want to be in those situations, but she truly does. What a clutch performance. Wheeler. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight shooting night. Good shot for her there, but it's strange that she's not calling the ball today like she normally does. She has to do more if her team wants to pull ahead. A uh, shot by Parker, no good. Now the Sparks moving it up. And that one good. We're in overtime here with just over two and a half minutes gone by. Chicago now. Trailing by two. To the inside. Here's Parker. Pass to Dolson. Tries again. Tries yet again. And she takes it up and lays it in. And her hard work on the boards gave them another crack at the points there. Here's Wheeler. And uh, what an exciting game here with three minutes Scott. played here in some hard inside play for Lauren Cox. Carelessly powering through the foul to get the shot up. Shooting for Los Angeles. Lauren Cox at the line for two. And so she drops them both. And it's a two-point ball game. Look, free throws do not get much bigger than that, but she made it look easy and puts them in front. Parker inside. She's covered by Ogumake. And out of bounds, the Sparks will take it. Sparks ball. Here's Wheeler. Connects! Okay, there's poise, and there's poise Thomas under Scott. pressure. Wheeler remains unfazed by clutch moments. Now a timeout called by Chicago. Hey fans, who wants a free t-shirt? Make some noise! And here's Allie Quigley outside. It's good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. And I think we'll see them burn uh, the clock a little bit here. Probably a smart move. Be calm, be patient. Pass to Agumake. A couple of bursts that Agumake could generate with her ability to finish at the rim, it makes her a really effective driver. Timeout called the Sky. Guys, what do you think? There's still time left, so they don't necessarily need to go for the three. But if they can get an easy bucket inside. I'm not so sure. There's not a whole lot of time to play around with. I think they look for the three and try to tie this thing up. Yeah, you could do that. I think the quick two might be the better play. Let's see what they do. Here's Wheeler. Vandersloot with the steal. Parker. He's covered by Cox. No good. 
Here's the second effort. Using her size to her advantage on defense, Cox takes pride in defending the rim. And so it's the Sparks who come out on top here. They escape with the victory, although they needed a few extra minutes to get it. And what a great game. Both teams giving it everything they had. But when it came to the overtime period, it was all about...